Alright guys, so in today's little talk, I'm going to be talking about prime lenses versus zoom lenses. Now, basically when I'm talking about them, if you know anything about cameras, zoom lenses have a zoom to them. They can go from, let's say, 18 millimeters to 55. So this is a typical kit lens. Prime lenses, like this 50 millimeter f1.8, do not offer a zoom. You have to zoom with your feet or move around. So why in the world would you choose a prime lens over something that has a zoom? Now, quick story. When I was starting photography, I did not like the idea of prime lenses. Why in the world would you do that? Now, the reason is, optically, you can get a lot more quality out of these prime lenses. So typically, unless it's maybe this kit lens, you can get more quality out of these prime lenses for the cost. Typically, a prime lens costs about maybe half of what a typical zoom would cost. So what you want to factor in is, am I going to be shooting subjects that I'm going to need that zoom for? I'm also saying that when I started, if I had was just given a whole bunch of prime lenses, I probably would not have been able to figure out the fact that I enjoy primes more than necessarily I do zooms. I'm also saying that zooms do have a place in the repertoire of me and many other professional photographers, and you can get higher grade zooms sometimes. Also, there are different levels of prime lenses. This one costs about, I think I got it for like 70 bucks used. This one I got for $250 used. This is a 31.4, so technically it's faster, it lets in more light. But this f1.8 is cheaper, it is way, way better. It focuses better, it's sharper in every way imaginable. And this, in fact, I, um, I actually lent this out to uh, some photographer friends and um, that way they can sh kind of see what a prime lens gets them in terms of focal length and background blur but it doesn't necessarily isn't the sharpest for like professional use so why am I talking about these and what do you think you should get honestly in the beginning it's up to you I would suggest getting you know a kit lens an 18 to 55 and then maybe uh, 55 to 200 and then your next next investment should be um, a 50 millimeter prime lens either a 50 millimeter or a 35 millimeter go with your brand name typically for Nikon if you have a um, D7100 series, like 7000 series, so 7000, 7100, 7200, 70, all the way up, or the D500, um, or like the D90, or it has to have a built in autofocus motor, but you can get this 1.8D version, the D version instead of the G version. You can get it for like, like I said, I paid 70 bucks for this one. Um, you can find it all day used. Do you buy used or new gear? I personally have only purchased used gear from B&H Photo, Adorama, Ke it's K-E-H, I don't know how to say it really, it's, yeah. But basically, I only buy used gear. So you buy it from a, a retailer like that, they will give you like a 90 day money back guarantee, you just pay shipping back, and you get to try things out never ever have I had a problem with stuff um, I've sensed quite a few things back um, just because it wasn't necessarily what I was wanting or I tried it out and I was like actually this is not going to work for what I want but just go try those out if you want to talk to me talk to me about cameras I love love talking to people about cameras as you can probably tell so my passion is photography and one of the reasons why I let people use my gear I just share it out is because I love to share the knowledge and I enjoy when I get to hang out with fellow photographers so what I'm going to be doing for you guys is if you're interested in learning photography even if you don't know anything I would love to come along 
and just maybe one-on-one -on -one teach you or one-on-two -on -two maybe with a friend. I do better in small groups, so that's the reason I'm doing this instead of like a big on photography class. But if you would like to do that, that would be something I would truly enjoy. Um, just you can let me know somewhere. You can just message me privately. You can just comment on the video below here. So I'm only doing it for the people that I know right now. So maybe if like I know you and your friend wants to come and I don't know your friend, possibly. But I just wanted to let you guys know that. And enough is enough. I'm going to finish up this video. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video.